if you haven't done so already, and I really do urge you to do this, is watch uh, the Jared Bowen video. Uh, it's on the West Ham official YouTube channel. It's um, I think Ironcast. Uh, it's with James Collins uh, and Chris Skull. Uh, they do this sort of like weekly show um, and they bring on the player or former player, etc. It's, it's really good, actually. Very worthwhile uh, watching. You haven't done so, done so already. But the recent one is with Jared Bowen. It's really a good watch. Right? It's a very long, I think it's about 45 minutes long, this interview. And he talks about um, basically his time with joining the club and his upbringing and his relationship with Danny Dyer and all, all these things he talks about. And, he, and I'll tell you what, he comes across really well, Bowen. He speaks really well. He actually, like, I'm starting to see a confidence in him now. Do you know what I mean? Like the way he he, he jokes and mucks around. I'm I, I'm not trying to be patronising to him or him, but like whenever I've seen him previously, like the years, you know, his early time at West Ham and things like that, he's always been very timid and quite reserved in how he speaks and obviously that's just how his, his personality is, but you can see he just seems to be growing in confidence um, in how he talks about the club and what it means to him. And I'll tell you what, I, I was really impressed, actually. Um, and I've actually, it's, it's made me change my opinion on him, Bowen, uh, well, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Jared Bowen. I think he's an amazing, one of our best players, obviously a top scorer this season. I love him for that reason. But I've always been quite doubtful in terms of his leadership. I've always sort of thought, well, I don't think I'd ever want to see him as a captain. I don't really see him as that. He comes across too timid, too quiet. I'm not sure I really want to see that. But early this season, um, I remember there being um, a story regarding Bowen in terms of doing a dressing room speech. And this is obviously a period when we were struggling uh, and, and a game that we had to win. And he... And he it came out and said that he had to let the players know how he felt about things and it really G'd them up. So I, I thought well, that's quite interesting to imagine Jared Bowen standing in front of the players and sort of, um, you know, stamping his feet and whatnot, trying to get them up for the game. So it, I, I, a part of me then thought, I wonder, you know, maybe it's a bit more to Jared Bowen than, than meets the eye. And I think if you watch that video, you'll see someone actually that you go, do you know what? I've got a lot of time for this guy. I, I really think he could actually command a room. And, and I think that not only command a room, but I think, he comes across someone that actually gets the club. And and that, let's be honest, it really does help the fact that his personal relationships in his life, um, obviously with the Dyer family as well, he's in a big West Ham family now. I think I think you can see it's it really is becoming some a big part of his life now, West Ham. It's it's more than just a club that he plays for now. It's actually something that really means the world to him. And you can just sense that. Um it, it really is it, it was a great watch. So I really do urge you to do it, um, to to, to give it a go. Um, Jared Bowen this year signed a long-term deal, signed an eight-year contract, uh, which is amazing. I mean, let's be honest, amazing commitment from him. Um, I, I don't care what anyone says. A lot of people have said to me, yeah, it doesn't really mean anything. He, he'll be off. He'll be going to Liverpool this summer, all this kind of stuff. I really do not think that that's the case. I've, I genuinely believe we're going to see the best years of Bowen at West Ham. I, and even so, I, I, I've even got a fair amount of confidence that he'll probably be here for the rest of his career uh, until you know, he comes to the end of his end, end, end days. He might go somewhere a bit lower league, maybe. But I don't see... Jared Bowen leaving West Ham. I just don't. I, I really don't. And I and I I watched that interview and it made me um, more confident of that. Actually, that we've got a player here that's going to be here for the long long term. Um, I think there's a future captain. There's a possible future captain in, in Jared Bowen. It, it's it's a question that's been going around um, this club for quite some time, isn't it? The captaincy. Because if you remember when we had uh, Mark Noble, obviously natural leader, West, Mr. West Ham, et cetera, et cetera, when he um, hung up his boots, it was obvious it was going to Declan Rice. It was just the obvious replacement. Declan Rice was kind of captain him anyway at that period anyway for, for, the, for the vast majority. So it was just like a, a very smooth transition. When Declan Rice departed, it always was that question mark of who we were going to get. Now, Bowen really wasn't in the conversation, really. As I've said, I was felt like he was too timid. And I've got to be honest, I was, I was like many, was quite surprised that uh, Kurt Zuma got it. I didn't see that one coming. I didn't think he doesn't come across like a natural leader to me. And I, I, he still doesn't. I, I, I'm not convinced on him at all as a captain. No disrespect to him. Being a leader is not um, for everyone. It really isn't. It's actually very acquired, isn't it? Let's be honest. It's not. It's, it's quite difficult to do, to have that kind of personality and um, uh, character about yourself that, that that can lead and etc. And I, I think it's tough. And I just don't see it in Kurt Zuma. I really I, I really don't. I think we've seen it this season. I think that's why we crumble a fair bit. I think we lack a leader on the pitch. And and as I say, I'm not trying to dig out Kurt Zuma on that. I just think that's the the, the fact. Um 
So I actually look at Jared Bowen actually and think, do you know what? He's he is a contender for next season. If if we get a new manager come through, we're going to then review the, the captaincy situation. Which I bloody hope we do. Then I would certainly be looking at Bowen and thinking, do you know what? He understands the club. He loves this football club a lot. He gets on well with the fans. He he's got something about him, and he. He's a, and he's a leader by example. He works his bloody socks off. I, I really have got a lot of time for him. And I'll tell you what, his importance now is going to be more so than ever for David Moyes. Absolutely massive because David Moyes now, as it's pretty evident, uh, in my opinion, in my opinion, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure of this, that he's in his last period of, of being a West Ham manager now. I, I do think that it, at the end of the season, he will be going. Um, I mean, unless there's some miracle, unless we win the last all around any games, get Europe, and then the club might decide to offer him a deal. But I, don't, I just don't see it. I, I don't. I just do not see it. I don't think David Moyes wants to be here. There's a part of me that actually just think that there's a part of him probably thinking now I fancy a change, um, because of he just comes across frustrated uh, for, for me. I think he feels a bit undervalued by the fans at times, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I mean, we know that anyway because we see what the media are saying, and let's be honest, that's kind of being relayed. I, I think of what he's telling them as well that he's a bit frustrated. So. It wouldn't surprise me if he goes. But I'll tell you what, I am what I'm sure of is that he'll want to finish on a high at West Ham. He'll want because he'll want to go out on a high, on a bang, because he'll want to go and get his next job. He wants something bigger as you know, we won't say bigger. I don't think he's gonna get it bigger than now. Firstly, he's not gonna get a top six club, let's be honest. But he's gonna to want to end on a high. There, there's I've got no doubts about that. I really don't believe the idea that he'd be sort of down in tools and thinking I've had enough. I, I just don't see that. Um and let's be honest, a legacy for him, a huge legacy. He would love to have on his CV, even though, let's be honest, it looks pretty good from what he's done at West Ham, um, will be, I've got West Ham European football again. I've got West Ham in European football again. I've got them the full, you know, full consecutive season. That that will still be West Ham's target. That's the target for the club. We know that for a fact. XWH employees um, heard it from the horse's mouth in David Sullivan that that is their focus. They want the European football is still the target. I mean, obviously, we're taking a confidence levels are taking a batter in because of the defeats against Crystal Palace and Fulham, um, and of course the Newcastle one not too long ago. They, these have been really damaging for us. Um, my, my confidence levels are on the floor in terms of us getting a European football for next season. But that's not to say that we won't. That's not to say that we can't. We still can. Jared Bowen missed um, the Fulham game, uh, sorry, the Crystal Palace game because of an uh, injury, because he was rushed back to play the Leverkusen game. I, Leverkusen, I thought he was excellent against Leverkusen. Of course, he set up the goal, didn't he, for uh, Mikel Antonio. Um, he, he's an exceptionally good player. And he was close to playing, I believe, uh, against Palace, but it was dealt, it was decided very last minute, no, it was too much of a risk and I'm going to keep, um, keep him off the pitch. And of course, we, we got absolutely hammered, awful, awful day for West Ham. But I'll tell you what, we can't do that now. David Moyes is now turning to Jared Bowen and going, you've got to get me out of this. You've got, to, this is his final gamble. This is his final throw. Is that we've got his best players back. He's going to have his, his top striker back to try and get us, uh, um, get us into Europe. And it starts against Liverpool, doesn't it? If West Ham can beat Liverpool and results go our way, of course, then the, the, there will be a, a, a smidgen of belief, a smidgen of belief that, you know what, you think, well, if we could go now and beat Chelsea, then everything changes. Um, it's a massive game and it's going to be a gamble. He's going to be relying on Jared Bowen. It's the final hope for David Moyes. It's the final hope for West Ham if we're going to get European football next season. This really now is it. There's no other alternatives. And he will be looking at Jared Bowen. Jared Bowen is now the, his most important player, I think, at this stage. Because if you look at the form of others, Kudus hasn't been in great form, really, um, uh, of late. Uh, Paqueta is the same. I've, I've, you know, I've not been in, in fantastic form. These players aren't playing that great. Jared Bowen is the only kind of player, really, let's be honest. Well, maybe Mikel Antonio has been in good form as well, to be fair to him. But Mikel, um, sorry, Jared Bowen's a player you look at who's reliable. Do you know what I mean? You just know you're going to get, if, if Bowen plays, he puts in a good performance. He works his bloody socks off. He he just does regardless. And there's no two ways about it. He's going to be needed now. He is needed now more than ever. Da David Moyes is turning to him and saying, this is it. This is it. If we've got any chance of getting some success this season, it's against Liverpool. And I'm going to need Bowen on, to, to, on fire. Funny enough. And also, let's talk about Jared Bowen uh, before we wrap this up. It's also the importance for him. 
Jared Bowen's got a chance here to go and play a European Championship. If you watch that interview on Ironcast, right, he talks about the importance of England and what it means to him and his family. So he'll be under no illusions that he needs to be playing well. He needs to be in good form. Bowen needs to be scoring goals here. He does not want to be finishing the season flat because there's a chance he won't be getting on that plane. So this is a massive opportunity for him as well. So do you know what? It's it's actually given me a little bit of belief, a little bit, for this upcoming weekend of football where it's Liverpool. I've, I've been kind of on my mind thinking it's, it's gone, you know, but the fact that Liverpool um, just lost to Everton, um, a tough game for them as well. But, you know, that's a damaging block loss to them. Obviously, they're out of the Europa League, they're out of the FA Cup. They're not in great form. It's not a bad time to play Liverpool, actually. You know, it really is not probably not a bad time at all. Um, and you look at Jared Bowen returning for West Ham, which he will be. He'll be in the squad. I, I'm I'm sure of that. I'm more than certain that he'll be playing. But he'll be desperate to finish his season well. And for David Moyes, this is his last gamble. His last throw of the dice. Because, let's make no mistake, David Moyes, got, I'm sure he's going, but he'll be wanting to finish his time at West Ham on a high. Thank <laughs> you.